All right, my friends, welcome back to another pickups video. I am Zero. Let's get this started. I got some interesting stuff to show you guys tonight. So, I want to thank everybody that checks out these videos on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of these. I think something over 40 episodes or something of these pickups. It's pretty crazy uh, that I've done this many, but they, you know, they're they're easy to do, and again, they're content that I myself enjoy watching. So, might as well record some for you guys to check out. For anybody that's interested in what I pick up. Uh, so the first thing, nothing crazy here. NHL 94 for the Super Nintendo. And Deadly Towers for the NES. Um, the, the cart's a little busted, but the, it's very clean. It's all good. Um, this was like in like a bargain bin at a game shop. So they kind of like, it was like a package deal. Like pick two games out. And uh, I'm always looking for more hockey games that I either haven't played or don't own. So NHL 94 and Super Nintendo and Deadly Towers. I want to see how, just how bad this game really is. Because obviously AVGN's covered this. It looks terrible. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be terrible. But who knows. It was super cheap. Uh, next we got Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Of course the new Mario game. Uh, my girlfriend and I are playing through this right now. I've done a few episodes. Really enjoying this. It's, uh, it's kind of reminding me of Mario 3 meets new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. Um, so it, it's definitely a really good game. I would say I don't I don't like it as much as like a Mario Odyssey or anything, but it's still been really, really fun. There's been some challenge to it already, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Great co-op game. It's a lot of fun. We're enjoying it. It does get pretty, pretty hard, some of the challenges and stuff. Uh, next up is another AVGN reviewed game. This is one I was very curious about, actually. Because I don't know if it's going to be as bad as you say it is or, or not. But that's Mylon's Secret Castle for the NES. And yes, I have a box copy here. Because um, to be honest, the Game Shop had this and also just a cart version. And the cart version was like not even that much less expensive than this one. So I was like, well, why not just pay a few extra dollars and get the box with the with the cover and everything. So it's got the dust sleeve in, inside. There's no manual, but that's all right. Uh, the box with the cart and the dust sleeve and then like the protector on the box. Uh, it's just weird. Like I, I saw the game, it was just the cart, and then I saw this. So um, might as well pay a few extra bucks to get the box and stuff. It was a very cheap uh, NES game there. Um, all right, I've got a couple Xbox stuff here. Next, I got Sea of Thieves. Finally got around to picking this up and starting to play this. Enjoying this one quite a bit so far. Uh, a lot to learn. Well, this is a game I've been wanting to try for a long time. For those who may have been watching my channel, you know, in its early days, I talked about this game a lot on stream as it was coming out, being like super excited. And I never played it, but here I am. I'm finally playing it. So if anybody was waiting, uh, you're welcome. But no, it's, it's, it's a really cool game. And if you want to join my crew, just let me know. Um... I'm going to need some crew members eventually. But man, it's, it's a great game. It's really fun. Uh, next is uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley for the Series X. Uh, this was finally released physically, so I can finally continue my game. Because if anybody knew, I had started a series in this uh, on the channel, but I was just using my friend's Game Pass for a little bit. He let me like use it on my Xbox just to try out some stuff. I played some of this. And now they released it physically, so it has stickers and a poster and, and a map in there. It's pretty cool. So we will definitely dive into more of this game. Very relaxing, chill, chill game. I enjoy that game quite a bit. All right, uh, these next two, uh, some people might say, why? Why did I do this? But if you know me, this makes complete sense as to why I would do this. So I bought, I own these next two games digitally, okay? And anybody that knows me, I love physical media. So to help represent them, I bought these custom cases that this guy on eBay does. Did a really good job. So I have Grounded for the Xbox, Xbox One. And look how good this is. This is like so legit. It looks as if I bought it from the store, doesn't it? So obviously there's no disc or anything in there. It's just a case. Um, but again, it's not what is inside the game or in the case. It's what it represents. So this way I can display it up on my shelf. And, you know, I forgot I even owned this game, actually, because I forgot I bought it when it was on sale. Basically so my girlfriend could play it on my Xbox. 
because I haven't really tried this game too much yet, but I am looking forward to really like getting into it one day because it, uh, it's actually really, really cool looking and she loves it a lot, but you know, so I have my digital copy and you know, since this game isn't released physically, I figured this is like the next best thing. The guy did a great job and shipped this quick and it looks, looks awesome. It looks, it's just, you know, it's sitting up there with my other Xbox One games. That way I can look through and know that I have it and not like forget about it, that it's in my digital library because you know, I don't really buy too many digital games. And I also packaged that in because he gave me a deal to get two ga to get two cases and I got an Alan Wake 2 case as well. As we know, this game for some reason was not released physically, so I got a really, really awesome looking uh, case here. If you guys can kind of tell some of the details that they went through for this. It, I mean, it has the spine. Everything just looks just so professional, so well done. The print. Uh, these are like legit cases and everything. You know, even at the Xbox logo on the inside. Um, yeah, he does a great job. I'm definitely going to go to this guy again to get more... Uh, cases for digital games, you know, that I might want to kind of display uh, for when I do buy digital games. So that's, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Grounded and Alan Wake 2. So awesome to have those on the shelf. Loving Alan Wake 2. And last is a pretty interesting find. Not something I was going out looking for, but they happened to be there. I was at a game shop and he happened to have some Goosebumps books, like original prints, a couple bucks each. I'm always on the lookout for these actually when I'm in like a bookstore or something with like, you know, or thrifting, but not when I go to a game shop. So kind of was like, oh, he's got goosebumps. Okay. Uh, Welcome to Dead House, which is the first one. These are all original prints too. You got the Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Uh, Let's Get Invisible. And we have The Girl Who Cried Monster. So those four added in to my Goosebumps collection. I don't have a very big original Goosebumps collection, but this is certainly going to help it grow. Uh, I really love these books. I owned a decent amount when I was younger, but I got rid of a lot of them. I don't know how, but uh, now I'm starting to you know buy some more and get ones I never had or never read. Uh, such like good, fun stories, you know, nothing crazy light reading. So I'm a big Goosebumps fan, so I gotta I gotta go represent. The Goosebumps. And yeah, I think this is the first one. Yeah, number one. Welcome to Dead House. The first one that was ever made from R.L. Stein. The original one. I know it's got the kind of the embroidered uh, print on the front of it. Well, yeah, that is it. Lots of interesting stuff there, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for being a part of the channel. Thanks for watching. And again, if anybody wants to let me know what you pick up, please do. Not that anybody has yet, but maybe a few times in comments. But if you guys want to leave me some comments, tell me what you've been playing or you know watching or reading, you know that'd be great. I'd love to, I'd love to to hear that. But um, stay safe out there. Enjoy your gaming, your reading, whatever you do. Just have fun, enjoy life. Until next time, zero is the number.